that those cities were the most tolerant and that by turn they would have uh, the most flourishing creative sector. So he was talking about New York and San Francisco and places like this. And he did do a study in Europe, didn't quite translate in the same way. But the, the point is that he had this massive influence over city planning, including Birmingham, uh, in the early kind of noughties. And um, what he recognised was, or what his, his suggestion was, in, and, and a lot of the, the city kind of work were on board with this, was that in order for the creative industries to flourish, we need diversity. We need them to, you know, that they, they really benefit from the richness of kind, and, and so when bearing in mind that Birmingham at that point was projected to, to be majority non-white by 2020, well, we're in 2020, so I think we are there now, that it was really important to be able to satisfy new audiences um, and to, for, you know, and from an equal opportunities perspective, 